hi it's happy friday <laughs> well i had hoped that sue would be here with me today but uh, she hasn't turned up so i presume something's happened and she couldn't get here um i must remind her that she can't come on monday actually because i'm going to the hospital for the long awaited uh, consultation about my um, shoulder and arm neck scan so i can't miss that for the world because i've waited weeks for that appointment anyway we're in a different view but i'm still in my holiday home <laughs> thoroughly enjoying every moment gg i've had to put him up here because he's getting a bit of cabin fever in his cage actually so i can only have him out of his cage if i'm here with him you know obviously he's been a bit of a monkey now because he's decided he's going to try and start walking which he's not got to do this is what happened last time he started walking far too early i'm not saying it was the only reason that he's had to have the second operation but it was a contributory part of the second operation was the fact that he started diving about when we took our eye off him because obviously he felt well but his leg hadn't healed inside so he's <laughs> now that's his opinion of his collar <laughs> he's turned his back on you yeah you're not happy with that collar are you darling yeah. and he won't be happy actually because there's a fly buzzing about Gigi is continuing to drive me crazy with his barking um, he barks at anything, anybody, nothing, nobody. And he's also taken my slippers uh, out into the garden somewhere, so I'll have to go on a slipper hunt before it rains. Anyway, what have I been doing? I finished off the um, the Bolero. That's the one. Um, oops, it's not been blocked as you can see because I'm not at home. So that's the one. It's quite a large one but I seem to find that like a lot of people ask me for larger sizes so I'm hoping now I'm making larger sizes that people do actually want them <laughs> yeah do you like my new pants my new trousers <laughs> I don't really can see them or not uh, and I got a new wouldn't be an English lady would it without her pearls no twin set sorry 99 pence as a bargain from eBay. I had to pay postage, of course, but the actual necklace cost me 99 pence, which I'm very, very happy about because I love it because it's black and goes with a lot of things. The top I've had for a while, but it goes with the new pants. Yeah, I've ordered this pair of pants again in black with the purple on it. You might think I'm going crazy, but I actually got a bit of money for looking after the dogs. And I know it should have gone on the credit card, but it's going on me for trousers. They're only £10 a pair. Some of the trousers were even less than that, so I'm not exactly floating, pushing the boat out of there. Anyway, um, the Bolero was made with double strands of this TLC Amore. It's by Red Heart. I think that this came as a present from Ephra, but I'm not too sure about that. I'm sure Ephra or whoever sent it to me will let me know. I should write on the labels when people send me gifts who they came from, and then I can thank them properly when I'm using them up. Um, well, because I, this, I had some left over. Uh, oh, that's the pattern, by the way, for the the Bolero or Bolero, that's, it's uh, James Seabrett, JB361. It's a fairly new pattern because it's done in their new yarn which is called Noodles. Uh, I don't know what Noodles looks like, um, so I can't really <laughs> tell you, but I know it's chunky. Anyway, it worked up in the chunky. Anyway, because I've got balls left, I decided that as it would go with my new trousers, I would start to make one of these patterns, which is the either the t-shirt or the jacket. But I decided to make the jacket, because even though it's trousers, I've got quite a few vest tops, like in black or white or different colours, that would go with the trousers. And I could put the, uh, the jacket over the top. 
Anyway, because I'm using odds and can't say odds and sods, can I odd a bit up? Um, I'm sort of working along as I go along. I did do the back partly of it, but as I put two extra rows there for the length, I thought I was going to run out of yarn, so I stopped when I got to the end of this ball. And uh, I'm now doing oops, the front bit, which is actually got a label that says Red Heart on it. But it's absolutely identical to the other one that says TLC Red Heart. I can't see any difference whatsoever. And I've got a good eye for colour and I've looked at it in really strong light. Anyway, I think I'm going to have enough to finish the back and do this. This looks very narrow, but it's got to have a, a wide band that goes into a roll neck collar. So, you know, I thought I first when I started it, that'll never fit me. Um, but when I read the pattern again, I never read a pattern all the way through. If I read a pattern all the way through, I wouldn't ever start it, yeah. So that's what I'm doing with that. And they're very unlike me. I'm actually doing something else as well. Which again is, as you know, it's not like me. I usually do one from start to finish. I started another one. Oh, the pattern's in the other room. Uh which is some yarn that I think that Sue gave to me. It's called Jaeger Cotton Flam, or I think it's Flam or Flamme. Flamme, because it's got a little acute over the E. See, I do remember things from my past. I do remember my years of French at school. Yeah, Jaeger Cotton Flamme. But um, I've only got seven balls, and one ball has only done that much. So I had a rummage when I went back next door, but I found some, I couldn't find anything that was similar. But I did find some Emu Cotton Pearl, which is discontinued, but it's the most fantastic yarn ever. I think they discontinued it because it doesn't wear out. But it's beautiful to crochet with, so I've got some of that. So I'm thinking of some way to introduce some of this in with the pink if I, well I definitely won't have enough because um, I don't want to do a little short one because we in short tops we're not, we don't see eye to eye. Uh, in actual fact it might not be for me because it is a bigger size it may be because I can't think I've got anything that would go with pink to be truthful apart from some white trousers and some a white skirt. You alright sweetheart? I have to be careful, I don't want him to fall off. But he's, he keeps getting his little head, his little lampshade caught upon his cage. So when I'm actually right next to him, I'm near him, I, uh, I, I give him a bit of reprieve. I mean, he had about an hour and a half sleeping on my chest today, which he seemed to love because I took his lampshade off and because I was watching him and obviously he wasn't going anywhere. So he had a really good sleep, didn't you? Hey? But he has disappeared completely now. He always does when I put the camera on. I think he's a bit camera shy. <laughs> anyway, I've not got a lot to tell you, really. Um, I was supposed to go to have my... Um, what do you call it? Interview thing, you know, about my CPAP machine. But I rang them this morning and I told them I was here and I gave them my mobile number and I waited in and I've not heard from them so I presume they've rescheduled it. But I couldn't have gone to my, uh, my cousin's husband's funeral anyway because I couldn't have left him all this length of time, you know. Well I could have technically but it wasn't fair because it was, uh, the funeral was nowhere near here. Would have been miles to get there, miles to come back in a taxi. So even if I'd have known that my appointment had been like, well, they must have canceled it, not me. Um, Because they were going to ring me back, yeah, but they didn't, so. Unless you wrote my mobile number down wrong. That's my trick, not theirs, anyway. <laughs> 
Anyway, here in the UK on Sunday, it's Father's Day. I mean, I don't know whether it's different in the US because you have a different Mother's Day than we do. So you may have a different Father's Day than we do. And um, my son will probably go down to see his dad. Well, I hope he does. And then he'll be going out because he's a, a dad. He's been a dad for what? 10? No, must be longer than that. About 14 years now he married. He married into a family. So, I mean, technically they're his stepchildren, but he calls them his sons and daughters now. Well, his son and daughters. So he'll be going out probably for the whole family. The grandkids will be there and everybody will be there. So he, that's where he'll be. I'll still be here. <laughs> so I think Monday evening they're coming back. And I shall have to leave my holiday home. It's a different view of my holiday home. Do you like my, my little heart and my flower, lovely flowers? I think they look like lights, actually. But I'm not sure how you switch them. There's lots of gadgets and gizmos I've got no idea what to do with. There's actually a dishwasher, but I've never owned one in my life, so... I have to wash my pots by hand, my dishes by hand. Pots is a northern thing. You know, when you say, I'm just doing the pots, um, yeah, have you washed the pots? That means, have you washed your dishes, you know, your dinner dishes or whatever. I don't know anywhere else in the world where they call it pots, but... <laughs> Maybe it's just typical Northern. Yes. Yes. I mean, Julie loves hearts. She's even got little slate drinks coasters that's got hearts on them. Talking about that, I'd better put my beaker on it. My mug. <laughs> Her beaker is another thing that's Northern as well. It's so funny, isn't it, how the English language changes, you know, from place to place. How we have different, I won't say what the same mannerisms, but that's the way you move, isn't it? Different adaptations. I mean, Zoe, 24 Karat Crochet, she's done a couple of videos, well, two or three videos, I think, about the differences in the way we speak, you know, what we say and what they say in America, um, and how they differ, so I'm not going into it because she's already done it. Yeah, anyway, the subject of Father's Day, I've lost my dad quite a number of years ago, but it's still a sad day. And I don't have anywhere to um, to go lay flowers because he was cremated and he had his ashes scattered. So, and anyway, it would be miles away. I'd have to get somebody to take me. Um, but I'm not quite sure where they are now. <laughs> I know it sounds awful, doesn't it, but... My mum was scattered to the four winds at the top of a place called Tandle Hills, which is like a natural park. And she wanted to be scattered from the top near the war memorial, which my brother did, but on a humorous side, it was a windy day and he got more of my mum back at him than he was anticipating. My dad, I think, wanted to be put underneath a, a camellia bush, I think it was. But that was in their old house, the house that mum and dad had. And um, I think the, the camellia was transplanted, I think, to my brother's house, but it didn't survive. They were a bit temperamental. I think he died on the way across. So part of my dad's ashes could be in my late brother's garden, um, but I'm not sure where. So. I don't know where my brother's ashes were scattered. Or whether they're in an urn somewhere. I've still got Buster's ashes, I've got them in a box. I keep meaning to buy a lovely little, you know, a carved wooden box or something. They don't look very nice to be sitting in a little cardboard box on my shelf in the front room. He's got his photo with it there and a, a mug that my friend um, made me, Sarah made me, that's got the picture of Buster on the front of it. So, look, I'm going to be doing this now, aren't I? With me dangly bits. Playing with me dangle bits. <laughs> I think that's why I like necklaces that remind me of, you know, 1920s era or whatever. Roaring 20s. Mm. I'm a great one for my necklaces. 
In fact, by being here, I actually missed a great bunch of necklaces. They sold for a pound and fourpence. But I had only put a bid on up to a, up to a pound. <laughs> and with being in here, I forgot to go back in and renew it. So I lost it for the sake of 4p. Never mind. And there were seven necklaces, I think. Yeah, seven. I also love like going into charity shops. I think you call them thrift shops, don't you? And having a rummage to see what people have uh, got rid of. The little one here is snoring away, but he's got his eyes wide open. <laughs> Are you falling asleep, Poppy? Mm. Yeah, I'm really missing my PC. I've got my tablet with me, but it's only limited what I can do with it. And uh, it just keeps... <laughs> the minute I start looking at YouTube videos, it just runs out of puff. And where the plug is, it's sort of near one chair, but not near the chair I'm sitting on. So, you know, it's <laughs> I can't charge it and watch it at the same time. So I'm way behind with all my YouTube videos. So it'll give me something to do, won't it, when I go back home again. So I've been getting, I'm not getting on as much with my crochet as I thought I would do. I thought I would be racing ahead with everything, you know, but I'm not. I'm not. Oops, <laughs> got me self hooked up. I mean, this top, I know I shouldn't say it, but you wouldn't really need a pattern, would you? It's just like square arm oh you know. Then it goes straight up and I presume that bit falls into, you know, part of the collar as you're going along. But, uh, yeah, I bought the pattern and after I bought it and read it, I thought, hmm, what did you buy that for? I spent £3. I thought you could have done it on your own, yeah. <laughs> That's me all over, though, you know. Just make me all up as I go along, I wish I could. I'm hoping to get them all put on Etsy when I get a few more things done, you know, make it my summer collection. Yeah, I've got a dilemma as well. I'm torn with the cardigans that were ordered by a friend of mine who hasn't paid me for whenever. So I'm just thinking I'm going to not say anything anymore and just put them on to... Um, to Etsy. It's sort of demeaning, isn't it, when you have to keep asking? Especially when it's a friend, you know. <laughs> Makes it even more embarrassing. You know. But I really do need the money. I'm not in this business for giving things away. Although I do give a lot of stuff away to charity and things like that, but... Uh, I started this crochet business really just to pay for the yarn that I keep buying, you know, for my business. So that was what I wanted. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, here we go. Somebody in the next street's closed the car door. Buddy, shush. Buddy. 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 It's got nothing to do with you now. Stop it. Stop it, buddy. He's like a stuck record when he starts to bark. He doesn't stop. He just goes... Woof, woof. He was at the top of the stairs this afternoon. And I couldn't hear the TV because he was barking so long and so much. And I don't know what he was barking at. But then he sets this little one off. Look at his little face. Hey, you're so cute. You're so cute. Yes, you are. Yes, you're beautiful. Yeah. Anyway, I was saying about my dilemma, I don't know what to do. You know, because I really do need the money because I bought one lot of yarn in special. So that went on my credit card, so I need to pay. Anyway, I shall see. If I don't hear anything in the next week, I'm afraid they're going to go up on Etsy. Loyalty can only be so long. Probably cause a row, but hey ho. Hey ho. Have you ever had that happen though? People order things that don't pay. This is only the second time it's happened actually. Most people are really, really good. 
I mean, I actually need to go home to finish taking photos and that of the two things I've finished off that are orders. It's um, a bit awkward being here, really. Um, I could go back home <laughs> and do it all, but I'd rather wait till I go home, home to do it. The brown silk sweater's finished, and I think I showed you the uh, the shoulder cape that another lady wanted. Apart from that, then I've got no orders, which is sad. But it isn't sad in a way, because it means I can crochet some things that I want to crochet. You know, summer tops and things, and uh, to put them on. Oh, let's see. That's what I'm thinking of doing next. You know, hence the pink. I started the pink, but... Yeah, I just wish there was a bit more than the seven balls. <sighs> Story of my life. But I'm really looking forward to moving on with things. Getting new windows in, getting the deck. Moving on with trying to revamp my shop a bit. Because I was a bit upset away they changed the word, the lettering on my shop. I don't think it stands out enough now. It's not distinctive enough, it's just sort of a boring front. <laughs> and I need to make it more jazzy, more appealing. And also I need to go and understand what PayPal's twittering about. You've got to change this to this standards or something or that. I have no idea what they're talking about. And to be honest, I've had so many hooky emails from, well, purporting to come from PayPal. The time I get them, you know, you start wondering whether it is from PayPal or it's not from PayPal. So you just stand there and don't do anything. And they keep sending me these emails saying, you must do this, you must do that. Lovely mugs, aren't they? It's got some lovely crockery. Square plates, they're gorgeous. White with like a black, I don't know whether it's a dandelion or what it is. It's a big puff ball on it. Beautiful place. I think I'll stay here. Stay in Tenerife. <laughs> and I'll stay here. <laughs> I wish I had enough money to do my house like this. I'd love a conservatory like this. It's so beautifully light. You know, instead of sitting in the black hole of Calcutta, it's, um, I think that was, well, I hope it was uh, body sniffing and snorting. I just nipped him back next door and the girls greeted me like they'd never seen me before, which was lovely. When I say the girls, I mean the dogs, yeah. I confuse my family because they call their granddaughters the girls, whereas I call the dogs girls. So when I say, how are the girls, they just say, uh, which ones, you know. <laughs> I'm sure they've enjoyed themselves without me for the week. But I've enjoyed myself here. Nice, peaceful, quiet. Watching programmes that I like to watch, like fashion catwalks and craft daily. I found a programme called craft daily. Although some of the crafts I'm not interested in, you know, they do a lot of patchwork and um, they also do a bit of card work and things like that, like making soft toys out of fabric. But it's still nice to watch instead of watching something like quiz games, <laughs> which I'm just not into at all. Anyway, as you can see, I'm just crocheting away here and mindlessly chatting to you. I'm sure I've bored you by now. I'm just sorry that Sue didn't come. Then he would have had a bit more interesting conversation than just me. And the little one is now to sleep now. So I don't think I'll make any more uh, videos before I go home. You never know, I might go crazy and make one. You never know. If I've got anything to say or anything to do. Anyway, for now from my lovely holiday home, which may be the last time you may see it. It's goodbye from me, goodbye from Gigi, and goodbye from Buddy, wherever he is. And wherever my slippers are. I have to go out because it looks like rain. I don't want soggy slippers.
<laughs> Bye all.